Nice. So this is my new MacBook Pro. April, well, mid-April or so, 2010 version. It is a 15-inch, uh, 2.4 gigahertz Core i5 MacBook Pro. It has a glossy 1680 by 1050 resolution, and I am loving this thing to bits. Um, it has the usual ports. I'm not going to go into that because I know you. If you're here, you've definitely you've definitely seen this a Brazilian times. No need to review it again. I like this feature though, where you can just press this button and it can show you how much charge there is in your in your laptop. Uh, yeah, this is my very first laptop also, and I found that it is qu quite dramatically different from using a desktop computer. Well, duh. I mean. You won't believe it was a surprise to me when I thought, wait a minute, this thing's getting hotter. <laughs> yeah, I found out that around this area of the MacBook Pro, I don't know, um, I don't know about the other versions, different Macs or whatever, but especially this area can get heated quite a bit, not on top really, but under. So if you're using your MacBook Pro on your lap, be careful for this area. And then again, I don't need to tell you because you've probably used laptops far longer than I have. The laptop computer itself is really, really fast. So there's Safari. Then you got you can turn on Mail. I love Mail, by the way. I have three email accounts. I have iWork, Photoshop, and I love the Mac webcam camera. It is brilliant. I think it is worth it. Because, like some people say, the text on the screen is a bit hard to see. But you already have functions like to zoom in to the web page if you really want to make it bigger. But I don't really have any problems reading text on the higher resolution display. And just look at that. This is playing from YouTube and it's... Somewhere Look at the colors. Away, there is a place where life is this is hot 1080p HD playback on my MacBook Pro. Um, the battery life of the laptop's been really good. I can use it use it a bit heavily for about four hours until the battery is almost dead. Then I gotta charge it again. Uh, let me just charge, put it back in right now. And it just snaps up in there, and we can see the light come on, and the screen will get brighter to show that it's charging. At, but at the moment, it's just about fully charged, so it's not really going to do anything. That's why this is green. Otherwise, it'll be orange and saying, oh, it's charging, charging. I use Safari, by the way. I don't use Firefox or Google Chrome or the other um, OS browsers because, I don't know, I'm, I'm comfortable with Safari. I think it's fast enough. You can do exactly what I want to do. I got good Wi-Fi reception, so I don't know if that's a very important factor for the browser speed or whatever. I like Safari. I can't speak enough about the mail application. I really love it. I know Windows has it, Microsoft Outlook, or what's it called, Enterage or something. But I think the Mac version actually feels better. I've used Outlook once. It was a pain in the fill in that blank. You know, so... Everything about the computer so far, or almost everything about the computer so far, has been good. But I do have some complaints. If you are a person that does a lot of text input, for example, let me turn on one of my documents here that I'm working on right now. Alright, so I've took up this document open here, and I've got I've written lots of words on it. It's a really long, really, really long document, and I've still not finished. The thing about this is, when you're typing on this thing for a prolonged period of time, this part of the desk, of the laptop is gonna cut into your wrists. There are different there's there are two methods I can think you can overcome this if you're a heavy typer. You can either get a separate keyboard and connect it via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, 
or you can get a certain kind of protective um, soft padding on this area so it and people say it'll be it's a lot more comfortable and you won't really have that problem with with prolonged typing on this thing so that is one bad thing about the computer so far the edges are a bit sharp but they're really it's really neg negligible if you if you're not really going to type much besides I can do this but the thing is after some time you're going to really notice it the trackpad this trackpad this trackpad is amazing I've played the free version of Portal, you know, the game called Portal, on the machine, and it was really good. <laughs> Again, I'm a really amateur laptop user, so I was not prepared for the fact that when you start playing the games on this, the fan's going to kick in, the <laughs> graphics card is going to really heat up, and the thing's going to go smoking hot. Luckily, I got a fan up there that I turn on when I'm going to play the games, and it sort of cools the machine as I'm... Oops. It sort of cools the machine as I'm playing with it, so it's not really that big of a deal. This is a really, really good machine. I would recommend it a hundred times to absolutely anyone. I love Apple. Because of this computer, I've almost become an Apple fanboy. And yeah, that's it.